Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Nicholas Lion Rider, and welcome back to another episode of my Mod Spotlight series. And as I said in the last episode, holy crap, have the community just exploded since new species came out. So I am actually back with not just 20 new new species, but actually 30 plus new species that were added on top of the existing 23, I think, that were available last time. And so these are all brand new species made by a bunch of amazing creators out there uh, that you can download today if you want. You can just go onto Nexus and start downloading them. So I should preface this by saying that uh, a lot of these uh, mods were made by a bunch of different content creators that were doing collabs with one another. So I tried to organize it the best I could, but there is a lot of overlap. So Leaf was doing some stuff with like Mega Gaming Rex, who then did some stuff with Tosca, who did some stuff with Gaboy, etc. There's a lot of different creators out there that are working together to make as many mods as possible. And um, so, like I said, just forgive me, the presentation might be a little bit wonky, but I hope uh, everything works out. So um, without further ado, let's just kind of get started with some of the newest mods that were available on Nexus as the, of the time of recording this. And this is from a very new modder. So this is from Jasper uh, Emissios. Um, I'm just going to call you Jasper. But they uh, have made a type of guinea fowl. So uh, this is the helmeted guinea, guinea fowl. And, uh, yeah, I mean, like, I actually really like it. I mean, other than the face, the face is very, very ugly. I don't know if they actually look this ugly in real life, but, um, uh, they have that beautiful guinea fowl spotting, um, all over their body. And we're actually going to see another guinea fowl later from Leaf. Um, and this looks awesome. I actually really like it. I think the community is really going to be excited for some smaller birds. Um, it does use the cassowary and it's very, you know, apparent. Uh, makes sense though, because you gotta get that like horn on the head and the um, the overall posing and stuff makes a lot of sense. This one's in the short grass, it's a little easier to see. But yeah, it's this tiny little bird, so like that's definitely gonna be really, really cool. Um, I think the, because um, again, this series is gonna be a little bit of a, a mod review as well. I think the icons look rather nice, um, all things considered. Let's just quickly check out the um, uh, Zoopedia page rather nice looking photo. Like I said, I think it's just an ugly looking bird, but the actual Zoopedian stuff looks nice. Um, seems to have everything all set up. So yeah, this is a really solid mod. So uh, I can't wait to see more from Jasper. This is a really solid mod. I want to get through this as quickly as possible, but again, 30 plus mods. Um, so yeah, uh, so similarly, we also have uh, some other mods from them. So uh, these are like top notch. So this is the American Black Bear. And so uh, this is actually probably one of the nicest mods available, in my opinion. I know it's very simple. I made an American Black Bear back in the day, but this looks really, really good. Um, I love the icons. I think they look completely awesome. The Zoopedia looks really nice. It's nice and clean. So, uh, yeah, I just think this is a really nice looking mod. And uh, going along with the kind of, I guess, North American theme, uh, we also have the coyote. So coyotes are uh, using the dole rig. It's very uh, easy to see that the dole was a very popular choice ever since the Southeast Asia pack got released for a lot of different canine species. And uh, yeah, I think, um, I will admit, it doesn't look super like a coyote. I mean, it looks like a type of dog. It just does kind of look like a dole, in my opinion. Um, the American black bear looks definitely like a black bear. This one, like I said, I think it's definitely more of a dole. I maybe would have used the timber wolf personally, but it does have that lankier body type of a coyote. And I gotta say, the, the icons are rather nice. They could use a little work on this one, but overall, I think Jasper did a great job with all of these mods. Um, so yeah, definitely uh, someone to look out for, because their mods are uh, definitely looking really, really good. So another person that we have on the horizon is Narwhaler. So uh, Narwhaler has gone ahead and made the Ethiopian wolf. So uh, you can barely see it in the grass. So let's try to clean that up really quickly so you can see it. But it's another canine. Again, everyone loves our canine new species. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. Uh, the texture is a little bit blurry and the colorization looks a little bit off. I feel like this is just due to the color variation, not necessarily the model. But I think it overall looks pretty good. The uh, profile picture looks a little wonky, in my opinion. Uh, 
I think the actual model looks rather good. This also uses the dull, you can definitely tell. Um, but it's a little too bright and boxy in my opinion. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I think it could use a little bit of a touch up, but certainly not a bad mod. Oh, isn't that pleasant? Uh, so yeah, I think this is a rather good job. So uh, again, Narwhaler, awesome job. And uh, again, trying to go through these as fast as possible. So next up, so this is where, like I said, it gets really confusing. <laughs> so the next one is another combo mod. So this was made by Mega Gaming Rex, who's going to pop up a lot in this, in almost exclusively collabs. Um, so this is Mega Gaming Rex and Tosca, and together they worked on this guy over here, which is the African Leopard. So this was originally made by Mega Gaming Rex, and then Tosca went ahead and made a patch to make the leopard print a little bit better. It is sort of a half-finished mod, I will say that. So um, the model update was from Tosca, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I really love what Tosca did for the patterning. It looks very, very nice. Um, and then uh, Mega Gaming Rex did all the coding for it. I'm not crazy about the green eyes. I was wondering about that myself. The green eyes... Um, they can have green eyes, but from what I've seen, most of the time they usually have like yellowish eyes. Uh, so it's a bit jarring in my opinion, it's a bit distracting. But um, besides that, definitely looks good. Uh, this is sort of where I think uh, the mod needs some improvement. The thumbnails obviously have some issues. In fact, I believe the uh, female is totally missing icons and stuff, and their Zoopedia image and stuff is totally missing. So, um, definitely need some work there. Uh, again, Tosca did a great job on the model, so once you get some nice um, screenshots and stuff for the thumbnail and Zoopedia, I think this is going to be a great looking mod. So, uh, yeah, great job there. So the next one up I also want to point out is Giorno Pizza in Mega Game Rex. So Giorno Pizza is going to be another person who's uh, going to pop up a few times uh, in this little review here. And they made the Merino Sheep, and this is a really really good looking mod um everyone was super impressed with leaf suffolk sheep from last time but like this is a sheep like they got that wool down perfectly like they messed with the fur shader and like uh modeling it and stuff to where it looks really fluffy wooly it it's a nice looking sheep that's all i have to say the icons look really good uh the zoopedia looks very very nice it's very simple but nice looking I think this is an awesome job. Definitely a must have for a petting zoo or something. Uh, I like how there's some like, you know, gender variation where the males have horns and the females don't. Definitely looks really, really cool. I should also uh, point out, here's the uh, Black Panther version of uh, the African Leopard in case you wanted to check that out as well. Looks like there's also some triangle issues. So this is a thing that they could definitely also fix. Uh, just by deleting the residue and unknown files. Um, nothing super crazy, but uh, just something to point out a little bit. So next up is another collab between Giorno Pizza and Gaboy. So uh, they made the Emperor Penguin. So Giorno Pizza did it originally, and uh, then I think Gaboy went ahead and touched up. Gaboy's been doing that a lot lately. He's been, or I believe it's a he, uh, has been going around and just uh, kind of touching up people's mods to make them a little nicer. And so this is the Emperor Penguin. So it uses the King Penguin, of course, as a base. Makes sense. And uh, yeah, it's just an Emperor Penguin. So it's a little bit bigger. The neck is a little bit different. Um, and yeah, it's the penguin that a lot of people wanted, frankly, because it's been a staple of most zoo games since the beginning, mostly Zoo Tycoon and stuff. But it looks really good. Like, I have no issues. It's just, it's an emperor penguin. And it looks really, really nice. So next up, we have another new modder, and this is Hoxton. So Hoxton went ahead and made the South American Tapir. So uh, I believe this is also known as the Brazilian Tapir. And uh, it's probably the second most common in zoos behind the Beards Tapir from South America. Obviously, Malayan Tapirs are also pretty po popular. But uh, the South American Tapir looks pretty good. I think my only gripe with it, because I, I think the, the profile pictures look rather nice. The um, actual model looks great. I just wish it was a little less dark gray and a little bit more brown for my personal taste, but I think it looks rather good overall. Um, the Zoopedia looks up. Oh, I just boxed it up instead. 
the Zoopedia. I meant to click this button. Uh, that's a bit jarring. I'm not a fan of that, Zoopedia. It's a little too close up on the face, and you can kind of see the confetti in the background, and the, yeah, I'm not a fan of this, uh, Zoopedia at all, in my opinion. Uh, the species data is not terrible. It looks, you know, like a full body image of the tape here. That looks pretty good. But yeah, I don't like the Zoopedia image. It's, like, way too close up. But, uh, yeah, I think the model looks great. The model, I love what they did with the fur. The, they actually changed the shape of the head and stuff to make it unique from the other tapirs. It looks really, really good. Um, I also forgot to uh, check out the Zoopedia and stuff. I think the icons of the Emperor Penguin looked great, but the Zoopedia... Uh, again, I'm not a fan of the close-up of the head type idea, but not bad. Um... But yeah, so next up, we have Sib CDC. So this is another modder that is returning. Uh, they made their debut modding career uh, last time. And they're back with the uh, Red Forest Duiker. So this is a small type of antelope that I believe lives in the Congo, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me actually just check it out. I actually do like how they show how tiny it is in this. But, uh, oh, sorry, it's not from uh, the Congo. It's from um, Western Af or uh, Eastern Africa. So sorry about that. But uh, I, I was messing it with the, I think, the zebra duiker. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. It's a nice little tiny antelope. So if you want, you know, a little tiny antelope for your zoo, this is definitely the way to go. And yeah, it's it's very small. It, it's barely noticeable, but uh, it's got that really nice, like, red color. I think the texturing looks rather nice. It's like a nice little deer uh, texture. It's clearly uh, got a little bit of an issue, I think, on the neck, but I don't really see that as an issue. Yeah, this looks really good. Like, uh, that's all I have to say. I think Sib did a really, really good job. And, uh, yeah. I mean, like I said, did a great job last time. Can't wait to see what you do next. So, next up, we have Bongo Hardwood. Another uh, fellow Planet Zoo content creator. A lot of people have been uh, getting going from content creator or builder to modder lately. So, it is funny seeing, like, a lot of these names. And, oh, uh, that's a bit of an issue. <laughs> I feel like they use the reindeer, I can just tell, because for some reason, every mod that uses the reindeer has this weird horn glitch, I've noticed. I don't know why. But they used the roan antelope, so I think this looks awesome. So this is like basically your perfect split between a sable antelope and a gems buck, and it's in the form of a roan antelope. And I think the, the texture looks great, the model looks great, it definitely looks really, really nice. Uh, I can see they use some of the new fur combing techniques uh, to get the, the hair to look really good. Um, this is a better look, probably. And yeah, you can definitely see like how nice the fur is and stuff. And so yeah, I think Bongo did a really, really nice job with this one. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to see uh, more from them as a, as a modder now and not just a YouTuber. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say about that. So next up. We have uh, some of our bigger ones. So we have uh, Swagger Nagger, and they made a really, really cool mod, and that is the Great Hammerhead Shark. So kind of following up uh, from last time where we had the Sand Tiger Shark made by myself and Harlequins, uh, we have the Hammerhead. So the Hammerhead Shark, very, very popular shark species. Um, they grabbed, they admitted that they grabbed the model off of, I think it was Sketchfab, but uh, definitely looks really good. Like, I think they ported it over great. The Cayman rig is insanely difficult to work with in general. So whenever I see a shark mod or a fish mod in general, I'm really impressed because it is very difficult to pull these off. And this one looks awesome. It looks really, really good. Um, the icons look great. The Zoopedia looks really cool. It, this is just an awesome mod. So I think they did a really good job. Can't wait to see more from them. Uh, and that brings us to the next person, who is Tomsignathus. So, they made another awesome mod, probably one of my favorites. It's the Harbor Seal. So, uh, very, very popular species of seal. Probably the most famous species. Uh, just because they're the most prominent in zoos and aquariums. So, as you can see here, it's just basically, like, a small, cute version of the Grey Seal. It's very, very similar, but... Uh, they tried to, obviously they couldn't sh shrink the body entirely, but as you can see, they made the eyes really big and wide and, and the face is really cute. I think this is a much better job than, uh, the Harbor Seal that I was working on, um, and definitely this, this is awesome. 
The only thing that I wish was a thing, and it's not their fault at all, just the color variation. I wish that we could do spot uh, or pattern variation. That's the only issue with uh, using the current seal setup is obviously the gray seal just has kind of splotches that it picks between and just chooses random colors. It'd be nice if we got some of those nice like rosettes and stuff that you can find on actual harbor seals. But I think they did an awesome job. And uh, yeah, this is probably one of my favorite mods. It's very, very popular on Nexus as well. So next up, uh, the next few are definitely the bigger categories and why I wanted to get to these. Uh, I've kind of separated them by uh, uh, kind of seniority. So uh, we'll, we'll start off with the big guy himself, Harlequin's Ego, Jesse, the creator of all of this. Uh, he went ahead and made the most popular rhino, the black rhino. So. Um, this is probably uh, a very, 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 very popular mod, um, and you can definitely tell it's got some quirks to it because it uses the Indian Rhino, of course. Um, he did sculpt it so that it looks definitely like it's, it's, it's a tank, all right. And uh, there is some sculpting detail with like the rib cage and stuff that he did. Unfortunately, it does sort of still look like an Indian Rhino a little bit too much in some cases. Um, I think there's still like some kind of like the, the spot patterning and stuff you can see in like the, the legs and stuff. So and past that it looks a little splotchy. It's not bad. Um, it definitely probably could use some work, but it's a black rhino and Planet Zoo is a new species. I, you can't really, <laughs> you know, get much better than that. The icon uh, uses, uh, I believe he used the male and the female, uh, or he used just the female for both male and female so it only has one icon but uh it looks pretty good and then the zoopedia again i'm not crazy about how harlequins does his like thumbnails for the zoopedias they're just kind of pictures of the animal in a zoo um i wish it was a little bit more organic but overall not terrible um uh, looks really good and like i said it's a black rhino in planet zoo so you can't ask for you know too much more um but yeah looks great so uh, definitely download that if you wanted a black rhino. So next up, I have to give a shout out to NDP. NDP never uh, actually released his first mod by the time I re released my first part to this series. However, uh, he has blown everyone away. NDP puts re like a, a ton of work. Some might say like too much work into his mods. So as you can see, I wanted to like highlight him by having one of his new scenery props, the very first scenery prop he ever did, which was the Wooly Mammoth sign for his next mod. But I have to showcase his very first mod, which was the Killer Penguin. So the Killer Penguin, if you aren't you aren't aware of what it is, it was a joke mod uh, based off of the Killer Penguin from Zoo Tycoon 2. So in uh, the actual like, campaign mode, you'd sometimes randomly get a, a random donation animal, and it was a, a penguin, and it was a killer penguin, so it would try to attack guests and stuff, and it had red eyes and fangs and stuff, and no matter what, you couldn't get rid of it if you accepted it. And uh, he did a really, really good job. He, he literally invented so much new tech for the modding tools just for this mod, and he continues to do that for his mammoth right now. He's just pushing the boundaries of modding, and that's definitely something crazy. As you can see here, he has like custom fur shaders for the eyebrows and stuff. He invented fur combing to get the actual patterning right. He actually was the first person for this mod specifically to actually go ahead and make a custom movie that plays when the game loads. It's awesome. This is just... I know it's obviously a joke mod, no one really would probably get it, but it actually is probably one of the highest quality mods available currently. Um, and you can, he did male, female, baby, the, uh, the killer penguin thing. I don't have the babies of course, but as you can see here, it's a little like fluff ball that's angry. It, it's awesome. This is a, an amazing thing. Uh, the Zoopedia, like, fun facts and stuff are hilarious. It's definitely a, a must-have mod if you're a fan of Zoo Tycoon. Uh, it's, it's pretty great. If someone asks if you want a free penguin, you should say no. It's, it's, it's great. It's just a, such a good mod. Um, so, I wanted to shout out NDP. Next up, Level Wolf. So, this is another person who's kind of blown up lately. 
because Level Wolf has been cranking out mods. I've actually, like, upgraded them to a brand new, like, they get one of the big, big cages at this point, because they've made a bunch of really, really high-quality mods. So let's start off with their leopard, which is the Amur Leopard. So this is a type of uh, leopard that is found in Asia, and it looks awesome. It's basically a fluffy leopard, but the fact that they actually went ahead and made all the spot patterns, like, by hand, and it just looks really, really good. Um... The thumbnails look a little wonky in my opinion. The Zoopedia looks awesome. This is an awesome Zoopedia image. Um, but yeah, it's it's probably my favorite leopard mod out there. It definitely looks really good and is definitely worth some praise. So uh, good on level, level Wolf there. Uh, next up, we'll talk about Level Wolf's kind of uh, forte, which is uh, wolf species. Uh, they did a lot of canines last time. And they kind of continued that by doing the Mexican Gray Wolf. So... Uh, this looks really, really cool. So if you wanted another gray wolf in your game for whatever reason, uh, you could definitely check it out here. I'm not crazy about how contrasted the images on the thumbnail and Zoopedia are for these. It's a little too, like, tannish for my liking. Um, but uh, it definitely looks rather good. The model looks a little blurry, in my opinion. I don't know if it's really anything to do with just the fur shade or whatever. It just looks a little blurry, but uh, this was their most uh, their their earliest mod relative to this. And then, of course, they kind of made the Scimitar Horned Oryx. So I actually made a mod of this in the past. They did a much better job. It looks awesome. This is a really, really good-looking antelope. So uh, this is uh, from, found in the deserts of Northern Africa, and it looks really, really good. It has those kind of uh, iconic horns that are really good. The uh, icons of this one look really nice. I like the separation of them. And the Zoopedia looks kind of nice as well. It's very simplistic, but very cool. I didn't realize that they were totally extinct in the wild, but uh, yeah, so I guess they're only found in zoos. I know my local zoo has them. <laughs> um, so next up, we have who's this guy? It's from Nicholas Lion Rider. Oh, <laughs> huh, interesting. Uh, but I actually want to shout out Meriji, who is the real MVP of this, because I made one mod on my own. But the other thing that I ported is entirely from Meriji, and that is the Eurasian Lynx, which we have to find because it is the one of the best mods ever. It's so good and i just wanted to port it i got their permission to port it over and it looks awesome like it looks so good it's definitely frontier quality i love the zoopedia images uh the zoopedia like icon looks awesome it's so good it's just such a nice mod the tail is like shortened the the feet are like widened it's just a really good job so Meriji definitely always someone to keep an eye on i know they're making a bunch of mods right now for the community um and so yeah definitely definitely keep an eye on them so next up we have the golden lion tamarin so this was made by yours truly um and it is a uh, golden lion tamarin so it's a little monkey species from south america and uh it looks like a little orange and so oh we're gonna see them do a little interaction i think but the first thing I should probably address, and the only thing reviewing my own mod, is the tail. So, I wish the tail wasn't this wonky. It looks like it's a wire or something that's kind of bent a little bit. Um, what happened was, I was originally going to have it use the capuchin's curly tail, but I had a lot of people on my Discord say, No, they don't have curly tails like capuchin, so you have to straighten it. So I weighted the whole tail so that it would be straight. The issue is it was bent a little bit slightly. So this is what we ended up with. The icons, I think, I, like, I, I like to do a good job with. And the Zoopedia image just took a long time to get right. But um, I think in the end, it worked out really well. It's very bright. It, it, I added interspecies enrichment with the capuchin. I think it looks rather nice. It's a little orange. Like, again, it's a, it's a very, very tiny animal. But it looks really good. So, uh... That's all I have to say to that. But like I said, I want to give all the credit to Murugy. Without without them, this, yeah. <laughs> like, I wouldn't even be, like, in any any form of a category here. But next up, we have to address the, the new modding king out there, which is Leaf. 
Because Leaf has gone ahead and basically made, like, all the mods. <laughs> this entire round, like, uh, everyone else combined probably doesn't even have as much as Leaf. So Leaf has been basically taking up the role as the porter of modding. So he's been taking a bunch of people's mods, be it Pure Winter, J2 Bax, Mega Gaming Rex, etc. And just porting over their mods to be new species. So without further ado, let's get started going into all of them. So we can just start with the one over here. So this is from J2 Bex, and this is the Bighorn Sheep. So this was available for a while now as a very, very popular uh, replacement mod. But Leaf just went ahead, got permission, and ported this over as a brand new species for you to check out. So speaking of J2 Bex, we can go over here to the next one, which is the Somali Wild Ass. So this was also made by J2 Bex, but then Leaf ported it over. And it's a type of wild donkey species, so it's from Africa, and uh, it looks really nice. It looks really cool, actually. It's like, if you want another type of, like, horse species in your zoo, you can definitely check that out. Or, if you don't like the Somali wild ass, you could go with the, uh, where is it? Uh, over here, the Persian onager, which is another type of, uh, wild donkey species. So, uh, j 2 Bex did two different donkeys back in the day. Uh, and Leaf has ported them both over, and so, uh, yeah, both are available now if you want to check those out. So, uh, similarly, we could also go to, uh, one of my favorites from J2Bex, uh, and that is the Gower. So the Gower is awesome. It looks like maybe the fur fins weren't created properly, but this is just a tank. Gowers are awesome animals. They are, like, the largest, uh, bovine species, I believe, behind, uh, bison. And, uh, yeah, they are, they are units. So, like, they are very, very cool. They're found in Asia. Um, there is a little bit of variety in the colorization, which I really like. And they're just really, really cool. Um, so I'm really glad that Leaf went ahead and, uh, you know, powered through and made those. Uh, but next up, we can go over to, uh, stuff that he ported from Pure Winter. So Pure Winter made the unicorn. Uh, back in the day, uh, Pure Winter was known for her, like, horse mods. <laughs> She made a lot of horse mods. Um, as we saw last week, we saw the Quagga as well as the Wild Horse. And so uh, Leaf just kind of continued the horse theme and did her unicorn. So the uh, unicorns have two color variants. They have black and white, uh, which look really, really cool. Uh, here's the white one, if you wanted to check it out. And this was in my Atlas Park series, if you wanted to check it out. It's such a good looking mod. Um, I will say, a lot of the mods, though, from a distance, uh, freak out. I will, like, I, I will say that, as you can see, the horns of our next animal is freaking out, and that is the Rocky Mountain Elk. So this was made by Pure Winter as well, ported by Leaf, of course, and it looks so good, except for the fact that when it zooms out, like I said, the horns decide to just explode and turn huge for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why, it's... I really do think it is something with the reindeer. For some reason, the reindeer rig just doesn't like mods. It wants to just make everything go crazy. I think the unicorn is the same issue. There you go, there's another issue right there. It's trying to, like, extract a fake horn or there isn't one. The unicorns kind of will do it a little bit. It, it, it's not really Leaf's fault or, like, Pure Winter's fault. It's just, for some reason, mods built with the reindeer just don't like it. I, I don't know why. It's really, really weird. Um, but, uh, yeah, so here is the uh, up-close and looking fine version of the mountain, uh, the Rocky Mountain Elk. Uh, for some reason, the female's nose is a little messed up. I don't know why. It looks like it was maybe, like, deleted or something. So that's kind of something that might be a little annoying for some people. Uh, I think j 2 Bex actually made the icons for these. They look awesome. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else to say. It's just a really good-looking mod. So uh, next up in the porting category is the Asian Water Buffalo. So this was made by Mega Gaming Rex, I believe. And uh, I, went, I believe Leaf went ahead and made the actual animal. Uh, a new species, and it looks really good. I mean, it's uh, Asian water buffalo. It looks very, very similar to the Cape Buffalo, but the horns are slightly different. The texture is actually a little bit nicer, in my opinion. And uh, I actually, I like the icons. They're they're really nice. But I really like the Zoopedia. It's like almost like like drowning in the water. It looks really, really cool. Um, it's a very, very cool 
animal uh, to check out for your zoos. And uh, yeah, so next up, I believe that is all of the ports that Leaf did. So now we can just get into uh, his some of his normal mods. So we can go with his newest one, which is the uh, the vulture vulturine guinea fowl. So this is a very, very tiny little bird, like I said, uh, our second guinea fowl of the day. And uh, it looks really good. I, lo I love this one. Um, the patterning looks really cool. The face looks super, super sick. Like, it, it's a really nice looking mod. I really like this one. Uh, I think he did an awesome job with the icons, the Zoopedia. I guess might be having an issue right now. There is an issue with some Zoopedias. I should mention that. But it looks really, really nice. I love the face. The face looks so nice. Like, it's really cool looking. <laughs> Um, I know Leaf's been playing around with a lot of birds lately because he's been using the, the baby cassowary uh, rig instead of like adults and it, it's definitely been paying off. Which brings us to our next one which is the emu. So the emu is another mod that was created using the cassowary and uh, yeah as you can see like this looks really good. Um, my only critique is right now the neck looks a little bit short. It's not really his fault of course but uh, I really love this. This looks awesome. People have been dying to get emus for the longest time. Use the cassowary. Um, but yeah, this looks really, really cool. Um, I, I would definitely use these in my zoos. Uh, we actually reached a modding breakthrough recently that's going to allow us to change the rigs uh, uh, to edit uh, and manipulate rigs. So uh, maybe Leaf will get a port where you can actually make the neck longer, and then this mod will be perfect, in my opinion. I think this will be a great, great addition to your zoos. So I believe uh, we just have one left, and that is an update on the Red Fox mod. So this mod was actually uh, originally created by Leaf. We saw it last time, and it was a uh, kind of in a rough state. But what Tosca and Gaboy went and did, uh, went and did was uh, basically just kind of remastered it using the new doll. Um, they've just totally resculpted and retextured everything. And it looks really, really nice now. So this is a really good looking fox now. I really like the icon pictures. The Zoopedia looks nice. It's just a really solid mod now. So um, definitely check that out. It looks super, super great. All right, sorry everyone, we are back. And I forgot to actually review several of the Relief <laughs> mods. Uh, so uh, let's quickly go over them. So uh, let's start off with the uh, the probably most famous leaf mod lately, which is the Holstein cow. So uh, this is his uh, cow mod that he ported over to be a brand new species. Uh, everyone loves cows, so if you wanted more domestic species in your zoos, you could definitely do that. So this is the Holstein cow, and then uh, I forget the the I think it's the Jersey cow is this one, which is another alt skin that it, you could uh, randomly get. So uh, that's awesome. So if you wanted to get another two types of cows in your zoos. That is uh, another option. Uh, similarly, we have a mountain tapir. So this is another tapir species. Kind of the weirdest looking one in my opinion. Um, but with this paired with the uh, South American tapir as well as the Malayan and the beards that are now in the game, I believe that is all the tapirs that you could now hypothetically have uh, inside of Planet Zoo. And it looks really good. It's just, it's the fuzziest of all the tapirs. And uh, it's got that weird mouth, uh, you know, look ice cream looking mouth. Um, looks like a clown, basically. <laughs> uh, the icons look really cool. I like the Zoopedia. It makes it very, very prominent and fuzzy. And I guess now it's time to do penguin time. So uh, this is the chin strap penguin made by Leaf. And uh, I, he did a really good job. All things considered, penguin mods are some of the hardest to make. And uh, he did a really, really good job with the chin strap. So uh, the icons look really good. The Zoopedia image looks awesome. I love the Zoopedia image for the chin strap. And uh, yeah, past that, looks really good. Uh, going with the domestic species, here is the large white pig. So if you wanted some pig species in your zoos, uh, here you go. Uh, it's basically the uh, standard pink pig that you'd find at a farm or something. Um, so this is using the Babarusa rig, and uh, it looks really good. The Babarusa rig looks far better for pig mods than the Warthog ever did. 
um, and it looks really, really nice. So definitely check this out, especially if you are making a petting zoo or something. Uh, that pig species is going to be awesome. So then the actual last mod, I believe, that we have to address is somewhere. He's a little tiny guy, so it'll be hard to see. Here he is. The little blue penguin! Look at how cute he is! So, this is the blue penguin, also known as the fairy penguin, which is the smallest penguin species. And this guy is adorable. He is so cute. So, this mod was made by Mega Gaming Rex and ported over by Leaf, and it looks so cute. It's awesome looking. I love the icon, it, it makes it look even cuter. The Zoopedia is having an issue right now, but I've seen the image, it looks really, really good. Uh, here it is, you can see it here. Um, there, there was an issue with some init files or whatever. I, 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 I don't blame Leaf, it, it, it was a common issue. But, with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video, going over all of the new species mods available. And uh, yeah, so I've been Nicholas Lion Rider. If you've enjoyed today's video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.